Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Moonlighter. This is a roguelike shopkeeper game, and you'll see the shopkeeping part in a couple minutes once we go through some dungeons. But before that, we're going to check out our beautiful town. I've saved up some cash to make some improvements for myself and it, so we're going to get through all those first. So this is the uh, big board. This is where we can invest in the town or our shop itself. Uh, the town gives us new town folks, like I have the forge guy and I have uh, Harrietta Potter. But there's a retailer, there's a hawker, there's a banker. I haven't unlocked them yet, so I'm not 100% sure what they do. Uh, but there's also shop upgrades, where I can give myself more room to sell things. I can have sale boxes, I can have a better cash register, a better bed, and a better chest. So I actually think I need that better chest thing because I'm trying to save up for more items than I have now. But we'll come back to that once I spend my real money. This is Andre the Forger. Mm. So I've been marking items, which you can do with this that uh, says remove from wish list. That tags the items that you own so you know if you want to sell them or not. So I'm going to get new armor, which gives me 40 more life. Take that off the wish list. That also gives us the next step for armor, that you can see there. Uh, there's all sorts of different types of armors you can buy. I also wish listed this beautiful sword and shield set, which will give me uh, plus 20 to my attack. Does it look the same before I buy that? Wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think that's what I already have. Yeah, alright, so we're taking a timeout on that. So instead, I'm going to flag uh, this new set. I'll take that one off. There's also big swords, there's spears. Actually, well, the spear gives me more... Spear, glove, bows... No, I'm going to save up. I'm going to play it cool. We have to have some upbringing here. Actually, this gives me more too. We'll do that. That seems fancy. So I'm just, I'm just wasting money now. Uh, so I don't think I can afford the upgrade in here I was going to do. But I should have enough items to talk to my friend over here. Uh, she makes healing potions for us. Do I have enough? We do. So brew some healing potions. They also have um, guide potions that show you how to get through the dungeons. And she also has enchantments you can do on your armor and your sword, your shield, and everything else to make your things better. Uh, these red crystals that she wants are kind of hard to come by. So I'm not sure if I'll be upgrading things, but it's always a possibility. But now we're going to get to the, the bread and butter of the game. Uh, you can die between runs and not lose your money. So I'm not really worried about that. What I am going to do, though, is go into my home. I have two chests in my bedroom. Uh, this right one I've been using for upgrades. So I'm going to take all those things out because nothing's marked anymore. And this top one I've been using for everything else. So I'm going to throw everything in here now. Um, I'm going to have to put these things on. All right, so that is this one. Alright, cool. So we're a little more decked out now. A little more ready for battle. Why is this? I still marked this wishlist. That's fine. I don't care about that. Alright, so... Wrong one. So we have a lot of items in here so far. That's going to be a part of the game shortly after this. So we're going to go over here to the M for monsters. Uh, depending on if you go on daytime or nighttime, what I'm about to do is easier or harder. But this is the crux of the game. You need to defeat these four dungeons, where these little signs are and they're boarded up, in order to unlock the big dungeon. Because in this world, uh, there's dungeons. It's one of those very thin, well, there's a story behind it, but not really. This one is just, there's a 
basically a clan of merchants. And then the evils, the evils of the world came in and took over. So now I'm the, like the last merchant, and we're trying to rebuild the town and bring people back again. So I'm only pausing it because there's a timer. If you screw around the floor too much, a big slimer-like blob comes after you. So we have an attack. I have a roll. I can heal myself with those potions up top. We can go in our bag. We can only hold 20 things at a time. And uh, the B bag at the bottom is how you exit the dungeon ahead of time. Because if you die, you only keep the items that are... Yeah, the enemies get worse in this town. Uh, if you die, you only keep the items that are, in, that are in your person here. You don't keep the ones that are in your bag. Uh, if you notice up top... Let's kick my ass. Uh, if you noticed up top, like straight up from where I'm looking right now, there were some sparkles on the floor. It means you can drop down there and find something. And it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. So it's like here. And, okay, empty treasure chest. I must have fallen down this one before. But I just want to show, I just want to show everybody that, because it's kind of hard to notice, and it took me a while to figure that out. There's one there, too. There we go. So this one has trash can looking things that are spilling with items. Leave me alone. Uh, sometimes you do critical hits, that's why I did 25 on that first swing to that one guy and 50 to the other. Uh, we got a golden volume, which was, pff, was flying in my face, which is probably important. We'll find out later. Uh, this is an old campground. These books tell you stories about the game. Basically, it's, oh my god, this is a roguelike. Every time we come in here, the dungeon's different. Kind of deal. Uh, this heals you. It heals you up to 100 HP. So even though I just use it there, I can go back in it later if I want to. But eventually, it will stop healing. I'm also not good enough to beat a dungeon yet. Uh, I've been playing for maybe two hours or so, and I'm, ooh, a mimic, what a jerk, never saw those before, leave me alone! So I, I legit never saw those before, so there's still new things to see, even redoing the basic levels, but I'm not strong enough to just beat one of these worlds yet. I can get to the third of fourth floors in this dungeon, and everything starts overpowering me. So these slime doors are new floors. But I'm going to go back and use the healing thing quick. And if you screw around too long, a Slimer-looking monster comes after you. And chases you through the entire rest of the floor until you leave. Kind of like the ghost in Spelunky. So I'm trying to avoid that as well. More times than not, you can go through the entire floor without getting chased off, though. So basically, for the time being, uh, what I'm trying to do for this run is I go through until I hit uh, 20 items in my bag. So it's like 20 stacks, basically, of something. This guy you have to hit from behind. Swing! Swing! Kind of hard to tell where it's behind us, too. Thank you. For God's sakes. Uh, so, if you see the B bag keeps flashing, that means I can teleport out of here if I want to. Uh, for every floor you go up, it costs more money. So, the, if I'm on the first floor, it's 200 gold, this is 300, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this emblem lets you town portal back to the town and come back to where you were, which is way more useful than. Do not keep it on there? Uh, it's way more useful than just leaving and starting over every time. See these golden books. Uh, no, we're, we're not there yet. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, so I'm going to go through here until we have enough items. And we're going to just leave. I'm not going to town portal because it costs a lot of money. And I'm still in the saving phase. 
You gotta save money to make money. Some people tell you have to save it, but that's not true. Another one of them. Okay, this one's gonna throw magic at me. Real nice. As you can probably guess, floor up there falls through. Uh, when you clear clear a room with a treasure chest, you can open a treasure chest. Uh, these are new items. I need to make it out of here successfully with these to keep them. Uh, these destroy an item in the direction that they're looking. So this is going to go in this corner. This one. One too quick. What does it say? Okay. We're returning to town. So these are both stay at the bottom and should be safe. Uh, there's other item markers like this where they have to touch one of the sides of the bag. They have to touch the top of the bag, touch the bottom of the bag. So they even add some item management stuff in here. So right now, we're at 20 of 20 items. Uh, I just want to hang out a little bit more to see if there's anything else good we can find before we leave. Because we can still stack up stuff like that. Right, that's fabric. You're new. You need this. Do we have anything crappy? Alright. We see, I get vines all the time. So this, I'm going to drop in the Merchant Mirror, which sells it while we're here for, I think it's like 25% of what they're worth. So I got a gold, one gold for that because it's worth four. I'm going to grab this, bring it with because it's new. This destroys one item that way. Do I have enough room to move things around? I probably don't need this. So that's worth like 150-ish. So we can put you here. We need the steel for our new sword. That can go there. And if you, we can look at, go in the book here and see what things are worth too. There. This goes here. This goes there. And now we're going to warp out. Now I'm done. So the slime takes us over. Uh, it shows us how we got out, what we got, what we killed. Uh, as you, if you saw, our questionable things just turned into actual items. And the curses uh, went off with no issues whatsoever. So it's nighttime now. Uh, before we start the new day. Okay. These we have to keep. These we have to keep. And we'll grab a bunch of this stuff for the time being. Uh, if only have one of each. I don't know if I want to keep those or not. They seem special. I'm actually going to keep those for now. Wait, wrong one. Okay, that's where we go. Grab more stuff. I'm really just prepping, we'll say, today for tomorrow. Right, you can go in there. This is why you need more treasure chests, by the way. If you haven't noticed. Alright, so we're going to go to bed. We're going to start a new day. And we're going to get into the second half of this game. All that prep work is for this morning. We're wide awake. So we have our cash register here and we have our four things of tables. So now we're gonna go through and we're gonna start putting stuff up for sale. The way the sales work is, okay, so this is a perfect example. Right now I'm selling 10 of these for 75 gold, a thing for 750 gold. Uh, so far I found the, if you look at the sellings and reactions prices, I found the customer makes too much profit uh, eyes. That's the 75 gold, look super shiny and happy. That means I'm undercharging for that. They're so pumped about the deal that I'm ripping myself off. Uh, the teeth stone 
If I charge $4, it is the happiest price for everybody. Uh, if I charge $7, it makes the customers very unhappy. So with the sales, you're trying to figure out the, the, the proper price point for all these items as well. So those are all on the table ready for sale. We're gonna stand here, open the shop, and now travelers from throughout the world are gonna come in here. And as long as the prices are like happy prices or gold eye prices, they pretty much consistently buy everything. There is no real skill to this part other than keeping the table stocked and trying to keep up with what uh, what sells where. So I can go in here while everything's going on. Uh, we'll double check this price. I haven't found the right one yet. I'm ripping myself off still. And for this one, I haven't found the right price yet. I'm ripping myself off still. And these are those things that we use for upgrading our potions as well. So I should be saving those, but I like having money. Because money leads to better upgrades for the city, not just for my attack. But now we're gonna now we're I'm gonna sit here, or we're gonna sit here, and we're gonna sell everything that we have. Everything I don't care about at the time being. So I can get cleared out. So I kind of want to hit 4,000 gold, or whatever that shop upgrade thing was. Or maybe I'll get a new person, I don't know. But either way, I need money to do whatever I want to do. So see, she just bought that big stone for what she thinks is a steal, which means I underpriced it for myself. I always double check that I'm still at the proper pricing because you never know. It saves the last price you charge things. So as soon as you find the proper price point, you never have to mess with it again, which is kind of nice. But until you find it, it's a constant back and forth. I kind of wish you could automate this part a little bit too, where someone would sell things for you. And I don't know if that's just something I haven't found yet, or if it's not in the game. But I'm kind of hoping that's a option in this, because that would make this kind of nicer. If I didn't have to do anything right now, if I could just sell things without being around. And I kind of think that's what that sale box was. Nope, no, change the price, change the price. Oh, not until I sell it, I guess. Because 95 should be too low now. Yep, see? That one's okay. This can go up a little higher. So something good was four grand. And we're back up to four grand already. So I definitely made a lot of money on these past couple of runs. Which feels way better than other times. Because it took me a while to get to that 9... It took me a while to get to that 9,000 I started this, the video with. And we're already almost at 5 again. And I know I didn't sell everything the first time. Or spend all of it the first time. But we spent, we spent a good amount. We'll put you to 60. You can stay at 2. At this point, I can either close the shop by myself, or once full-blown nighttime hits, it, there you go, it will close itself. So we're now end of day. It shows you how much of everything you sold, how much you made. We made four grand. Basically, off that one run, we made four grand. So that the uh, the day itself now will not go on until I go to bed again. But again, we can go talk to him, go check out the board again. Oh, he sells things. I guess that's a pretty obvious retail. Retail is pretty obvious. Uh, the banker lets you invest your money. That's if that's seventy grand. That's way far away. Uh, the Hawker creates something to inspire people. Not really sure about that one. 
There's a sale box, there's a new cash register, leaving a tip, a bed that gives us more health, extra space, which I kinda need, and the shop can get upgraded. The shop expansion allows merchants to decorate it to please our customers, as well as additional space for their items. So I think I'm personally gonna save up for this. But that's gonna be the day for us. Uh, thank you for watching this video as always. If you enjoyed shopkeeping with me, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, check out all the other videos I have. There's tons of tons of roguelikes on this channel. Feel free to check more out if they're your kind of game like they are mine. And I will see you next time for more sales adventures. Lights.